starting with the left front now I have cast on 57 stitches in color A that is blue color now from here until the armholes we are going to repeat the same pattern that we did for the back part just the same whatever we did here that is 9 rows of garter stitch followed by this design pattern that is making these alternate knit stitches with color A and B for every 5th and 10th row so these 10 rows you will be following until you reach the armhole length okay till here until you reach the armhole we have to continue the same design so both the fronts that is the left and right fronts both will begin the same only difference will come while we shape the armholes so you can keep ready both the fronts till you cut for the armhole so begin with the front this is the left front I'll continue I'll continue with the same design pattern until the armhole length and then I'll show how to reduce stitches for the front now it's time to shape the armholes so begin by casting off 9 stitches casting off knit wise 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 after we cast off 9 stitches for the armhole continue to knit in the pattern going to the next row wrong side so there is no cast off on the wrong side right now continue to purl all the stitches going to the next row of shaping armholes so we have already cast off nine stitches here we will begin by making a knit two together or you can even cast off one stitch and continue the pattern that is making knit stitches till the end end of this row now going to the wrong side continuing in the pattern purl all the stitches coming to the right side again begin by casting off one stitch or making a knit two together and continue in the pattern we will be continuing the same that is we will start by making a knit two together or casting off one stitch at the beginning of every row at the armhole edge only on this side we will begin by casting off one stitch and the remaining stitches will be done in pattern and this we will continue until we have 40 stitches on our needle so continue to cast off one stitch at the armhole edge until you have 40 stitches left now I have 40 stitches on my needle and from this row we are not going to decrease any stitch continue knitting in the pattern until the left front measures two and half inches or six centimeters less than what we made for the back so to show as a reference this is the back of the sweater and we and you can see here we have the armhole okay now you have to knit this one until the work is two and half inches below this end point you have to continue to knit in the pattern until the work that we are making that is the left front is two and half inches less than this pattern so two and half inches is this much so now we are here somewhere here we are so taking it straight we should still continue at least three to four inches work three and half inches remaining so continue to knit three and half inches straight with the pattern no more decreasing now just continue with the pattern straight now we will start with the neck shaping so this is the side where we decreased for the armhole and on this side we will shape for the neck this is the wrong side now so we will begin to shape for the neck by casting off 12 stitches cast them off purl wise one 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन एंड ट्वेल्व सो आफ्टर कास्टिंग ऑफ ट्वेल्व स्टिचेस वी विल कंटिन्यू इन द पैटर्न एंड पर्ल ऑल द स्टिचेस नेक्स्ट रो नेट ऑल द स्टिचेस गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट रो दिस इज द साइड वेर वी हैड कास्ट ऑफ स्टिचेस फॉर द नेक now from this row onwards we will begin the row by making a purl two together every time until we have 23 stitches left on the knitting needle we will be making purl two together only on the neck side that is where we had cast off 12 stitches for the neck band and not on the right side Purl all the stitches after casting off first stitch, and continue to cast off first stitch of every wrong side row or the side where we had decreased for the neck band. Continue this until you have twenty three stitches left on the knitting needle. And when we go on the right side, there are no decreases. We will be decreasing only on the wrong side or on the side where we have cast off stitches for the neck band. so continue the pattern until you have 23 stitches left now i have 23 stitches on my needle now we will continue knitting in the pattern for four more rows and on the fifth row we will start shaping for the shoulder so continue four more rows if you don't have a row count then you can continue to knit in the pattern until you reach the shoulder shaping pattern on your back side of the sweater so you can compare that and continue to knit until the shaping of the shoulder starts now shaping the shoulders begin by casting off eight stitches 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 next continuing in the pattern complete the row by knitting next row purl all the stitches next row again begin by casting off eight stitches first i will make a knit two together so that is one stitch cast off continuing to cast off with second stitch two and Eight. So now we have seven stitches in total, and continuing in the pattern, knit them. Now, wrong side, purl all the seven stitches. Coming to the right side again, cast off all the seven stitches. I will begin by making a knit two together. This is six, and this stitch is the seventh one. Close the stitch by passing it through the loop. So the left front is ready. this is the arm edge and this is the neck now to begin with the right front cast on 57 stitches again and continue the pattern similarly what you did for the left front and continue to knit until you reach the armhole edge 
so start making for the right front now for the right front again I have cast on 57 stitches and I have worked the pattern until the length where I have to make the armhole edging now for the left side armhole edging we had casted off stitches on the right side now we will cast off stitches on the wrong side that is now we will cast off stitches purl wise so casting off 9 stitches now 1 and 9 now continuing in the pattern purl all the stitches now making this right front it is just opposite to what we made for the left front there we had casted off on the right side here we are casting off on the wrong side now we will complete this row purl wise next row will be a knit and from the next row that is from every next row of the wrong side we will begin by casting off one stitch or by making a purl two together until we have 40 stitches left on the knitting needle this is similar to what we did on the first front so continue to knit continue to knit in the pattern and on the beginning of every wrong side make a decrease make a purl two together or cast off one stitch and continue that until you have 40 stitches left casting off is done only on the wrong side now once you have 40 stitches on your needle continue working straight without decreasing any stitch until you are two and a half inches away from the finished edge you can use the left front as the reference and continue to work work two and a half inches less than the final work now I am two and a half inches away from the finish so now we will start shaping the neckline for that cast of 12 stitches 1 and 12 now continue to knit all the stitches in the pattern now after you finish this row on the wrong side you are not going to decrease just purl all the stitches and once again when you come to the right side you will be decreasing one stitch every row on every right side so for the next right side row you will begin by making a knit two together or a cast off or one stitch cast off and again complete the pattern then purl all the stitches without decreasing once again when you come at the right side again you will begin by making a knit two together or casting off one stitch and this decrease on the right side will continue until you have 23 stitches on your knitting needle in total so continue till you have 23 stitches left on this design pattern I had 23 stitches then I made four more rows and I made a fifth row just to reach to the wrong side so from this row we will start to shape the shoulders for the first row of shaping we will cast off eight stitches first stitch I'm making a purl two together you can cast off normally one stitch is done casting off second and eight now continuing in the pattern purl all the stitches next row on the right side knit all the stitches going to the wrong side begin by casting off 8 stitches again and 8 continuing in the pattern purl all the stitches next row knit all the 7 stitches next row cast off all the 7 stitches next 
the right front is done okay now the back and left and right fronts are done now we will start with making the sleeves 